now we're going to coat a mobile phone. Uh, we've all got our mobile phones and they're wonderful bits of equipment, but we like them to be protected and easy to clean. So that's what we're going to do now. This is a standard spray bottle of, of liquid glass, but here we're going to be using the wipes. They're, they're easier to use, of course, uh, for just this small job. Pre-cleaner, application wipe. So first we take our pre-cleaner, and this is, good, this is suitable for all mobile devices. You can use it for small, uh, for laptops, iPads, things like that. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to clean, deep clean the surface here. So we're cleaning it thoroughly. Normally we'd, I'd suggest that you could wear gloves with this. Uh, this is a standard alcohol product, it's not going to cause any problems to uh, the device. Uh, and we clean especially around the lens because we want to protect that. So, stage one. It's clean. Put this to one side. Now, we can, what we're going to do is we're going to use our microfiber cloth now to dry that. Just dry it a little bit, even though it'll dry, it'll uh, dry by itself, of course, it's alcohol. But we're going to do that, speed the process up. And if I were to wear gloves, then I wouldn't get my fingers on there. So I would recommend that you wear a, a little plastic glove. So, there we go. So we put that down. Stage two, open the application wipe. And so we've got a... a Application wipe is it, it comes either branded or non-branded, but here we are. This is uh, it smells similar. It's uh, it's it's alcohol based in here as well, and of course our SiO2 coatings. And we're going to coat that thoroughly, making sure it goes everywhere. And you can see if you. Hold it up to the light, like I can see here that we're making a full coverage. Then we put it down. As I said, this, this would be suitable definitely for at least uh, a computer or an iPad, but it, or, or a, a few mobile phones. You could do yours, your partners, your kids, whatever. So now we will leave that, normally we would leave that to dry for 20 minutes, half an hour. Uh, and if you were, were to hold it to the light, you'd see a slight bloom on it because it's got SiO2 on. The next thing is, so we're imagining that that's dried for, um, for half an hour. You, that's maximum, you can do it a little less. Then we will buff the surface. Thoroughly buff the surface, nothing complicated about that. And that is all you have to do. So. I've buffed the surface, that's removed any excess SiO2, I've allowed it to dry. Is it fully functional? Yes it is, but technically it's like paint. Um, if you did this last thing at night, which I would recommend, let it dry overnight, it's like paint, it's going to be that much better in the morning. So, we're going to film this in, in uh, later on and we'll see what the uh, hydrophobic effect is like and you'll be able to see that we'll splice that onto the end. So that is now protected and antibacterial, so which we all like for our mobile phones. And so while we're waiting for this, this coated phone to dry, I thought I'd explain a little bit more about the, uh, the benefits of using the coating. This is, uh, this is my phone. This is my colleague Burns' phone. Very nice new uh, Samsung. I get the old one, the HTC. But this has been coated for four years nearly now with, um, with liquid glass coatings and the screen is in great form. Now I don't have a, co a cover for this, um, I don't have a flip cover, it just goes in my pocket, in my shirt pocket or my trousers and it, it takes general wear and tear. It's been dropped, <laughs> so you can see from the edges there, it's really had some, uh, some hard usage. But the screen is, is great and that's really where, what we're focusing on. So, and I hate those plastic screens that go on the front. They drive me crazy, they're ugly, they bubble. Um, but this is, is a much better alternative. So general, what does it do? It protects against general wear and tear. 
It won't if you hit it with a hammer or get sandpaper on it, it won't protect it. But general wear and tear, it will do everything that you want in that respect. And this is a proof, proven case. Then, is it antibacterial? It's, it prevents bacterial buildup. So it's, it doesn't have any agent in it to stop it being uh, antibacterial, but prevents bacterial buildup. And it's really easy to clean. So if you get everybody, you're always going to get finger marks on eventually. You just take it and rub it on your, your with the microfiber on your trousers or jeans or whatever, and uh, it will clean it very, very easily. So the real benefit is general protection for your phone uh, and antimicrobial and ease of use and ease of clean. And with the new phones here, uh, you, you wouldn't be able to put a plastic coating on there. Uh, and this, for the edge phones, of course, you're going to get the added protection for that. So, great for your phones. So now that we've completed the, the process and we've coated and cleaned, etc., we're now going to look at the, uh, the hydrophobic aspect. And so here we have our standard water, nothing special. And I'll put a water drop on. I don't know if you guys can see from there. I'll put a couple on and you'll see it's really hydrophobic. And then we'll just do a little tilt test and you'll see it happily runs off. So that's the effect that you get from coating a phone with liquid glass.